Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on my 2007 Porsche Cayman. We're going to be replacing both of the front sway bar bushings. Before we get started, make sure you give me a thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll get started here in just a moment. I've done this before in the past on my father's Boxster. I assume this is going to be very similar, but we'll find out together. Before we jack up the car, make sure you put it in gear and then pull up your e-brake along with putting some wheel chucks behind your front wheels and then your rear, wheel, rear wheels. Start off, you want to go ahead and jack up the car. I like to jack mine up in the rear first. There's a jack point right down here. You can't miss it. Once you jack this side up, then you put a jack stand on the front jack point right here. I don't, don't think that's needed for me to film that, but uh, if you need more help on that area, please check out the library. I've done DIYs on how to jack up your Cayman. Now I want to go ahead and take off both wheels so you can put your wheel under the car for just added security. The lugs on this are going to be is going to be a 19 millimeter bit. Whoops, 19 millimeter bit. I'm going to take mine off with an impact. I usually like to throw mine under the car just like that for again just uh, added security. So now with your wheel off you should be able to see your front sway bar bushings right there. This is going to be two nuts to hold it on but before we can even gain access to the sway bar we have to drop the belly pan or the undercover tray whatever it's called. Now I want to go ahead and remove the under tray. You're going to need a Torx 25 right there. You can see these just around this little board. Just follow it on the outer ring, and you should be able to remove all of them. Follow it around on the outer ring. Once you get all the once you get all the fasteners off, it should just drop down. Like that. If you want it down more than this, there's two more nuts down there on the very end. You would have to take them both off to completely remove this tray. But for what I'm doing, I'm gonna keep it on as is. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove those two fasteners that are holding on the bracket right here this is a 15 millimeter bit so this is 15 15 and there's a nut under it that's 15 as well so what I usually like to do is I get a 15 millimeter wrench make sure you hold it right here whoops and I want to go under the car to where the fastener is so I'm just getting under the car to show you where that fastener is again there are two 15 millimeter nuts You can see it in the frame. It's these two. So we're gonna back those both out with a 15 miller 15 millimeter impact. But when you back it out here, you have to hold the wrench up top so it doesn't spin. So it's gonna be hard. I don't have anyone to hold the camera, but you see where my 15 millimeter wrench is. This is gonna be to hold the top nut, and you're gonna get your impact to go right under it, like this. So one side's gonna hold it or attempt to undo the nut, the top side right here is to hold it. But I have, I have to put the camera down because again, I'm a one man show. There's a nut, you'll notice that there is some blue Loctite on there. So make sure you get some Loctite when we put all of it back on. Let me get the second nut off. Alright, I'm going to 
get some a flathead screwdriver and just kind of pry this up softly and slowly like that all right so once you get the two 50 millimeter nuts off now we just have to work towards prying this little bracket right here upward with a flathead screwdriver and pulling out the rubber bushing okay I'm going to attempt to do this with the camera it's kind of difficult all right, so you just flat that screwdriver. Just prying this up just a little bit. It's not gonna hurt. Whoops, it's not gonna hurt anything. And we're gonna try to slide this little bushing out. See if I can yank up on this sway bar or uh yeah, sway bar, Let's see if I can pull this up a little bit. moving dang it all right so what I did is I took, took a flathead screwdriver like this and I pried it under the sway bar right here just a little bit so we can get it moving and parts see it moving right now so that loosened up the uh, bushing quite a bit Go ahead and pull it out. All right, so I've just been kind of uh, wiggling it back and forth, and eventually, whoops, eventually it comes right off. Now I'm just taking my replacement, just putting a little bit of silicone grease on it. Let's get it reinstalled. All right, so to reinstall it, it's actually the exact same thing, but just backwards. Make sure to put Loctite on your fasteners right here. I don't have the torque values on hand, unfortunately. I feel like it's between 15 and 20 foot pounds, but check the manual. If you know what it is off the top of your head, your head please leave it in the comment section for the group. Um, I'm gonna wrap this video up, because again, every th um, assembly is the same thing, but just backwards. If you like this video, make sure you give me that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.